big experiment is enzymes. enzymes. So enzymes are proteins and they are biological catalysts. That means that they speed up chemical reactions. And we have lots of enzymes in our body, for example, carbohydrates, proteases and lipases. So we're going to do a little experiment with a piece of bread um, because bread contains a type uh, saliva, sorry, contains type of enzyme that breaks down the carbohydrate in the bread into sugars. So if you'd like to cut yourself a little piece of bread. So in our saliva, we have amylase enzyme. So it's one of these enzymes. Lovely, thank you. So if you put it into your mouth, and just keep chewing it and chewing it, but don't swallow it. Just pay attention to the flavour. <laughs> How does it taste? Sweet. Sweet. So it begins to taste really sweet because you can taste those sugars. Now, bananas also contain amylase enzyme, um, but they also contain um, glucosidase enzyme. And the enzyme responsible for banana, banana browning when you cut it is um, another enzyme called polyphenol oxidase. And pineapple, for example, contains um, protease enzyme, bromelain. And you can look at many foods, kiwi, avocado, lots of foods contain natural enzymes that break down different types of substances. So how do they work? Um, we use this model called a lock and key model. What's wrong? What's wrong? I swallowed it. That's fine. So we use this model of a lock and key mechanism. And each enzyme has a particular active site shape. Um, so an active site is the shape on the enzyme. And there's a particular substrate that has the complementary shape to fit the enzyme. So they form this complex and then the products are much smaller. And this active site can be denatured or it can, it can change shape in various conditions that affect it, such as temperature and pH. So our human body, all our enzymes work best at 37 degrees Celsius and this active site on an enzyme can be changed at temperatures higher than that. And this is relevant in washing powder, for example. You have biological washing powder or non-biological and the biological ones contain enzymes, so they work best at certain temperatures and it's more economical because you can use a lower temperature for your washing. So we're going to do another little experiment. We're going to put a piece of potato into some hydrogen peroxide. So if I just cut a slice. Oops. Do you want to put that piece in the hydrogen peroxide? So what do you see? How do you know a reaction's happened? What can you see? Bubbles. Bubbles? Good. So that's oxygen. So what's happened is, and um, we'll just show you this equation, hydrogen peroxide is broken down into water and oxygen. Potato has an enzyme. And that enzyme is called catalase. 